all of this happened, as you know, well, hundreds of families were lining up along the streets here to enjoy this holiday parade, this long standing tradition here in Waukesha. Jessica Maduker talked with some of them, and Jessica, many say they'll never be the same after what they witnessed tonight. That's exactly right, Katie. Witnesses that I spoke with tell me this moment they will never forget. They share the traumatizing moments that unfolded. Carson Kupsch was excited to attend the holiday parade with her daughter. My daughter, right, she was standing right in front of me, but she was maybe five feet away from me. She says she noticed a red SUV speeding from ahead. Must have been going, I mean, at least 40 to 50 miles an hour just came through and um, I saw, I mean, maybe three people right in front of me um, get hit. I saw people right away run to the people that were hit and start doing CPR and, and I saw people on the ground, there's blood. And it was really bad. Carson and her daughter are okay, but forever traumatized. Nearby on the same street, Martha and Merrill's bookstore. Owner Norman and his wife Martha were inside their shop during the chaotic moment. He says he saw a speeding SUV from his view as the high school marching band from Waukesha South High was playing. They just went through the band. Moments later, people started scattering. Many, included victims, ran into his store. One of them was a high school band member that was bleeding. We were just, you know, using towels and things to help with trying to stop the bleeding and, you know, and, and trying to, and then there was a lot of, you know, I mean, there was a, a number of band members who came in and I mean, and they were in a very highly emotional state, you know, and they were really in shock and trying to get them in the store and to get people to work with calming them down. Norman said there easily had to be over a hundred people that came through his store to seek shelter. You had parents who were frantically looking for their their children and would come in the door and start shouting their name, you know, just saying, is she in here or is he in here? He says it turned into an all hands on deck operation. It was amazing how many people just kind of really gathered around and wanted to help people. And Norman and his wife, Martha, are still helping. Their storefront on Main Street is still the scene of an active investigation. They are open. They are assisting officers, providing warmth, restrooms, as well as snacks. And they tell me they have no plans on heading home tonight. For now, live in Waukesha, Jessica Mduker, TMJ4 News.